Welcome, folks. Today I'm talking about Orc. Um, Orc? That doesn't sound right. Orcs! No, that's an S. Today I'm talking about O-R-X. All capital, but what does it stand for? Bad spelling in video games. It is an underpaid industry for actual developers, you know, and TV gets all the good writers now. At least those who've got narrative chops and, you know, grammar. What is Orc? ORX. I wish I knew. It is weird as what it is, part gorgeous, silver shaded fairy tale, dark fantasy background, part card game, part tower defense, and of course, part. Oi! I'm a castellan and I shut my pants because this here horde of post grammarian orcs has come to burn my keep down. Oh, did you think I was doing a serious video on this? After the hour long lag, this was my tell me why critique. Nope, I'm winged, baby! This demo was fun. Except for the part where I pressed the gigantic red button with the grammar anarchist on it and spawned 13 waves of orcs all at once. My FPS died, my castles died, my little farms went up in flames, but my willingness to collect orc hides and put them up on display over the fireplace lived on, enervated by the tragic pillaging of my filthy little feudal peasants. Shame that I was just beginning to enjoy the smell of dry hay and fresh manure. What is the gameplay like? Murder, he wrote. Murder of orcs through fortifications that you set up through the use of cards. Huzzah, deck building elements make their way onto the channel once more. I am crazy about deck building. Crazy. I say. I think it has to do with my childhood obsession with Yu-Gi-Oh, the World of Warcraft trading card game, and the lack of anyone in my life willing to engage in the actual playing of these games with me. The beauty of single-player strategy games that pit you against the AI is... You don't need friends! Ha! I'll show you, Mum. There is a whole lot of board game DNA here. In the way that the dark outlines of the world lie before you, like the background of a map waiting for you to define the territory, through dozens of mosaic pieces or more, interwoven together in real time. And of course, in the gold cost, which reminded me of... Carcassonne, perhaps? A number of board games, anyway. You'll forgive me if I have pinned something on Carcassonne that it doesn't do, it's been ages. The art is what made me glance at ORX, but it's not what kept me playing. The use of cards in the manner described, the preparation for wave after wave of green skin filth, certainly made the demo enjoyable. Perhaps because this is just a demo, it wasn't particularly well explained, I thought. No big deal, that, on account of the fact that, well, you've got all these cards to pick from, and once you get started, it's all very intuitive. Especially if you come from a background of board games and slash or with deck building hybrids. Heh, <laughs> that's a pun that is, because it's a game in which you build stuff by using a card deck. <laughs> I explained that joke, you see, because all jokes are so much better when they're explained. I enjoyed this short demo of the tower defense deck building more than I thought I would. If, upon release, the developer delivers the promise of, oh, I don't know, 300 cars across four different factions, and a roguelike campaign which will see the player go through three different acts, each within a varying biome. Take these. Might just be looking at something worth sinking dozens of hours into. There is potential here. Now, for the developer to stick the landing. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Ring that bell button, like that subscriber button, you know, press it hard, and uh, like that subscribe button. That doesn't make any sense. No, give me a thumbs up and then press the subscribe button so you will return time and again. Yes, yes, we will have you. We wish you to press that button, precious. No, I'm kissing that. Bye!